Hey there, Mel Abraham here, the author of the brand new number one best-selling book, The Entrepreneur's Solution, and the founder of Business Breakthrough Academy, where we teach you how to design a business and create a life, a life of financial freedom and peace of mind. And welcome back to this episode of The Entrepreneur's Solution Show. And we're gonna continue our journey, just like uh, in our last episode, we talked about how do you create a, understand who your core market is, your target market, and what I call the core market, which is really based upon someone that, that you're connected with, that you have some originality or distinction, uh, distinction with, that you can get results with, and that you can deliver with excellence. And so that's what I call the core market. And this episode, we're gonna drill even further. We're actually gonna drill down and say, who's the specific customer? What's the definition? What's the persona of that specific customer that we should be serving? And I'm gonna give you my framework on building that customer profile so you can build that intimacy in a way that you build loyalty and just like every other episode this episode comes with a downloadable guidebook and in order to get that downloadable guidebook you simply need to go to melabraham.com forward slash session zero two three but if you're on the road you happen to be at the gym or you happen to be on a run you happen to be driving and you can't write that down or you don't have access to a computer simply go ahead and text my legacy one word, no spaces, my legacy to 38470. You'll get a text back with the download link so you can get the download and the guidebook and the tools that are associated with this module and, and every other episode as we go forward. So after this brief introduction, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about how do we dr drill down and figure out who our perfect customer is and who that, what their persona is. And I'll see you back here right after this brief introduction. Cheers. Welcome to the Entrepreneur Solution, where highly successful entrepreneur Mel Abraham becomes your entrepreneurial mentor. Here, Mel reveals his business building strategies and even gets a chance to answer your questions. Mel Abraham, a CPA by education, but an entrepreneur by exhilaration and a true believer in the entrepreneurial way of life. It's through entrepreneurship that we create community, support society, and live our dreams. It's where possibility meets reality again, and you can have the life and lifestyle you want, one of freedom and peace of mind. Welcome to this episode of The Entrepreneur Solution, where it's time for you to be bold, dream big, and live life your way. Hey there, welcome back. I'm Mel Abraham, the author of the number one best-selling book, The Entrepreneur's Solution, the founder of Business Breakthrough Academy. And welcome back to this episode of The Entrepreneur's Solution. You know, in the last episode, we actually talked about what it takes to understand who your core market is. And we built it based upon a framework where we were looking at this and saying, look, our core market is based upon understanding the identity of who it is, the problem we're trying to solve, where they seem to hang out, the solution that we are creating, the objections that might exist so we can respond to them, and then who they're, who they're loyal to, who are, they, who are the, the outsiders that might influence them in the process. And so, so we talked about that in the last episode, understanding that core market and gave you some of the questions to ask and a guidebook that allowed you to, to build on that. What I wanna do today is actually drill down further and say, all right, so now we have an idea of who the market is. Let's figure out the identity, the persona, the, the personality, if you will, of the very customer that we're trying to serve, the very customer that we're trying to make a difference in, to transform their lives, to allow them to live a greater existence because of our products or services. And so we're gonna really build on this concept of customer profile and my, at least my philosophy, my process when I work with clients on defining what that customer profile is. And you know, most of the time what happens is this, is we spend a lot of time listening to what our customers are saying or we listen and, or we watch to what they're doing. So, and that's a lot of times what ends up happening when we're evaluating who's our customer is we focus on just this one aspect, this one aspect of, of what do they say and what do they do? 
which is fine and it's great and we need to understand what it is they're saying about their needs, about their frustrations, all of those things. We need to watch what they do. But remember, the dynamic of understanding our customer profile is the deeper we can get entrenched into who our customer is, what their persona is, what their personality is, the elements of their personality, the deeper entrenched we are with them, the more intimate we will have, the more intimacy we'll have with them. And when we have, and you know, why is intimacy that important? Well, think about it. The more intimate relationship you create with someone, whether it's your customer or a loved one, the more intimate relationship you create with someone, typically the more loyalty they have with you. So what I want to do is take you through this hierarchy of understanding and that what we'll do is every step of the way we will increase the intimacy which will increase the loyalty which will increase the customer relationship with you the their desire to refer you their desire to 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 uh, you know champion you to cheerlead you to use your products to come back that's that, that's the key so the very the very basic is what do they say and what do they do? And what are they saying to people? What are they saying on social media, especially in today's world? Uh, you know, we can, in, in the social media world, we can have a message out to a lot of people, thousands of people about, about a product or service immediately. You know, we are no longer in an, in an environment where the media is the one that's doing the reporting, where the product uh, creators where the manufacturers the distributors the companies out there are doing the advertising no no we're in a in a place where we are the media we are the customer we are the the producer we are the media our customers are the media you know at our fingertips we have the ability to be a publisher a radio station and a TV station I'm I'm filming this it's as if I have my own TV station it's on podcasts it's as if I have my own radio station it's on a blog post it's as if I have my own newspaper and we can get this out to thousands of people in an instant. Well think about that from your product or service. And now it becomes really important to, to have your ear to your customer and understand what it is they're talking about, what it is they're saying and enter into the conversation from where they're at. So what is your customer saying about their needs, about their the products, about the other products in the competition. What are they doing? What actions are they taking in the process? And then we we move from there and go to the next level, which is, what do your customers see? What are they looking at? What are they looking at in the context of features? What are they looking at in the context of benefits? What are they looking for? in the process of solving the problem that you are, you are trying to solve. And, and ask yourself that question, what are my customers looking for? What do they see that they would like to have different? How would they like to have it differently? And be part of that. In the, in the last episode, we talked a little bit about direct research and indirect research. Remember, direct research is really one-on-one -on -one or interviews or getting out there with a the customer. And this is what I'm asking you to do here, is to get out there and get intimate with a customer, to mix it up with them in a way that you create a dialogue, that you create a connection, you create a relationship, that you start asking the questions. Look, the best feedback you can get from a customer is for them to say, you know what, I don't like the way this works, so I don't like the way that works, versus them turning around and saying, I'm going to find it somewhere else. I'd rather the customer tell, you, tell me so we can fix it, tweak it, and change it to make it make sense to the customer. Because if we see a commonality in what it is they're saying, doing, or seeing, that's, that's giving us a message. So we need to be out there directly with the customers. This is direct research. This is the way, the way we want to work it. We need to find our customers. We need to hang out with them. We need to listen to them. We need to create a dialogue with them. And it's easier today than it's ever been because of social media. Having Facebook, you have companies like Cliff Bar that has their own Facebook group and they're listening to their customers. They have their own Twitter feed and they're listening to their customers and they're watching the feed and they're able to work from that. So what does your customer see then what do they hear what are they hearing as far as in the marketplace in the industry what are they hearing from the competition what are they hearing 
from the news media? What are they hearing on social media? Are you aware of what they're hearing? Do you know what's being said? Are you monitoring it? Further that, forget just monitoring it. Are you creating it? Are you creating and getting ahead of the message where you put it out there in front of them that you allow them to hear what, they, what you want them to hear, that you're directing the messaging and the communication? Then once we have this, we then move to this. What is their pain? What is it that they're frustrated with? What is it that they're aggravated with? What is it that they feel is an obstacle in their life, an obstacle that, that if removed would change and shift everything for them? Do you know what those are? Have you asked? Have we looked at it? Have we looked at the way to maybe solve that? Or are you just guessing? Because I know a lot of entrepreneurs that, that guess that, you know, it's interesting. The funny thing is that a lot of times we are not our customers. So we pretend to know what our customers want, need, desire, but we're not really our own customer. And if we're not our own customer, we need to go out to them and say, what is it that's causing you pain? What is it that's causing you aggravation and frustration? And what are the obstacles and the challenges that you're dealing with? And the deeper we get an understanding of that, the easier it'll be for us to solve it and to speak to the very thing that they are looking to solve. And then once we understand that, we need to now elevate ourselves beyond the pain to above that to what I call the game, their aspirations, their dreams. What does it look like? Can we turn around and take not only our solution to the problem, but elevate that solution from a solution to an aspiration, to give them something greater, to give them something bigger? What are their aspirations? What are their dreams? Are we speaking to their dreams? Do we understand what they are? If we don't, we need to have these conversations with them at a much deeper level. And when we do this, and now this is the thing that trumps all of this below, and that is understanding what our customers are thinking and feeling. Most of the time, when someone buys something from us, it's because they want to feel something. It's not because they want the product itself. It's what the product will give them. It's the benefit of the benefit. What is it that they're really feeling inside? When you get the depth of understanding of what they feel and what they're thinking by understanding what they say or do, what they're seeing in the marketplace, what they're hearing in the marketplace, the pain that is in their, in, in their heart or in their life, the gain and aspiration that comes from it, you will speak to them at a level that it's going to create this intimacy within your customer and within yourself with them that their loyalty is going to increase and your ability to, to provide the solution, to provide value to them and their willingness to pay for it goes through the roof. So the ultimate is for us to understand what they're thinking and what they're feeling. But the pathway to get there is to start down at the bottom and say, what are they saying or doing? What are they seeing? What are they hearing? What are they feeling from a pain, obstacle, challenge, frustration perspective? What are their aspirations? And then put that together. Now you'll understand what they're thinking or feeling. And now you change the dynamics of your relationship when your customer pro profile. Think about this. We, we take and we go through and, and drill down to get to our core market first. Now we take that core market and we say, now how do I pick the customer out of that core market and define what their persona is, what their personality, what's going on in their life? and create that unique customer profile, a single, not a group, a single customer profile that we now can speak to with our product, with our services, with our connection, with our social media, every step of the way to create an intimate relationship with them and a loyalty that'll be unequaled. Now that's the way to get your customer profile in place and to do it uh, with with much greater precision. Now, it, it, it requires you to get out there with a the customer, to mix it up, to, to connect with them, to ask questions, to listen to them and be part of the process and not 
simply conjecture or speculation and guessing what it is, but really asking and care about the answer. So that's the key to it. I hope you found this of value. Go ahead and download the guidebook. It'll take you through some of the questions that, that in more detail that'll force you to ask and, and start to really refine who your customer profile is. To get that download, downloadable guidebook, remember you, you go to melabraham.com forward slash session zero two three. And if you're not uh, by your computer, you're listening to this while you're on a run or at the gym, again, you can text, you can text my legacy, one word, no spaces to 38470 and we'll get you the download link immediately. And you know, while you're at it, make sure that you've subscribed to the, to uh, this, these episodes. So you get notified of all the different tools and everything that gets released on a regular basis, because this is the way I can become your entrepreneurial mentor on an ongoing basis to allow you to take your dreams out of the darkness, shake them off, give them life, and give you the tools and tactics to make them, make them real. And uh, while you're at it, might as well share, with, share this with a friend, allow, allow them to get the gift of entrepreneurship, the gift of possibility to allow their dreams to come to fruition also. So until our next episode, it's great to have you on this episode. I uh, hope to see you again soon. If you have questions though, if you have questions on this episode or anything else, business, success, or wealth related, go to askmelnow.com and you'll be able to leave me a message and we'll make sure that we get it answered on one of the episodes because I want to make sure that you feel truly supported on your journey. And until we get a chance to see each other again, may your vision be grand, your journey epic, and your legacy significant. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe so you get access to all of Mel's business and success tips. And if you like this episode, share it with a friend. If you have a specific business or success question, you can ask it at www.askmelnow.com. Remember, it's all about being bold, dreaming big, and living life your way. <laughs> because the world needs you. Until the next episode, may your vision be grand, your journey epic, and your legacy significant.